I know you brought a bunch of East Coast acts out here to perform at the um, at your clubs back in the day. Um, can you can you name a few? And was LL Cool J one of those? LL Cool J came to me came to me through through uh, Greg Mack and K Day. Uh, we had okay. I didn't have to break after a while. The the, the uh, my promotional situation at Dudos was so cold blooded, and we had such a such a great relationship with, with K Day. I didn't have to I didn't have to pay for any acts to come out no more. We became part of the promotional tour for K Day. So if anybody came to town, they had to come to Dudos. They came to Dudos on Friday first, okay? Because Dudos was a, was a teen club. They came out, signed autographs, gave us some records, whatever the case may be, and then they would go to the adult club and hang out. So Dudos opened at, I think, 8 30, 9 o'clock, depending on what time of year it was, you know, summertime or whatever. And um, they come in, hang out, uh, Climax, uh, Midnight Star, Jermaine, Jermaine Stewart, uh, LL Cool J. We had um, Houdini was coming through, but they didn't quite make it. Something happened with them. A new edition was there. Uh, man, it was so many people. At, and um, I was so busy trying to keep everybody, keep their mind off of on pussy and not pistols. Um, I would MC the show and keep pushing. And uh, but what even after dark, even after dark, I had um, Curtis Blow, Run DMC. Uh, but with the one group I had, I forgot I had, and he reminded me last time I saw him before he died, and that was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Oh, damn, okay. Dr. Jekyll wow. and Mr. Hyde was a group that Andre Harrell had uh, before he became uh, the That's big wig over at was it. The Def Jam? Uh, what Aris, one, of, one of the companies, yeah, okay? Yeah. Uh, he was a rapper, okay? He was a, he had a group. Uh, it, um, and it was funny because me and my partner, unknown DJ, his real name was Andre, and uh, the brother that rapped with um, Andre Harrell, his name was Alonzo. So you had two, you had a, you had a, two duos in, on the West Coast, Two Alonzo's right. in the music That's industry, crazy. which is some weird ass shit, because both of them names are not everyday black folks' names. And that last time That's I some, saw under huh? that, That's a mob deep South Central Cartel shit. Yeah, yeah. They had Havoc, they had Havoc and Prodigy Cartel here, shit. and they had yeah. and just never even knew each other. Never knew each other, and it didn't register with me until I saw Andre Harrell at the uh, premiere of um Defiant Ones. He was there and he said he saw me in the park, Alonzo, blah, blah, blah. We need to talk, man. We need to talk. Uh, we need to catch up. Come on, Bob. And, you know, he's big wig then. And he died a couple of months later. Mm. Died a couple of months later. Nobody, I don't know what happened before, before COVID. But next thing I know, Andre Harrell, a music executive, dead. Mm. Yeah, it was Uptown MCA. That's who he MCM, was. Uptown, right. Uptown, right. Yeah, Uptown. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to ask everybody. We got 37 people in the building. If you guys can please smash that like button right now, that would really help more uh, people get hip to the show. Really, really appreciate it. Smash that like button. And if you look right below where it says say something, uh, where you can leave a comment, we have a little dollar sign right there. If you want to show some love and donate to the show, it would be highly appreciated. You hit that dollar sign, type in your amount, and uh, we'll, we'll definitely give you a shout out. We'll promote whatever you got going on. And we just want to thank you guys. So, yeah, smash that like button. Smash, smash, smash. We, we need you to hit that like button. Now, you know, um, Dusty, with this, this, with this new rig I got, I have, a, I have the ability – well, I had it on my other one too, but I think I might have it a little bit better to add telephone calls. Okay, we talked about that. We need to yeah. maybe before the show next week we can uh, we can maybe practice. We'll get online we can, like can, ten yeah. minutes and, before. And, uh, Call my wife or something. Yeah, and uh, we can see if that's how this is working. And if it's working like it's supposed to, we can add phone calls from the audience yes. anywhere in the world. That's beautiful. Okay, beautiful, Anywhere beautiful in the world, folks. So yeah, uh, oh, yeah. We, if you looked up, if people saw what I what I'm looking at right now, you swear I was in NASA or some shit. I got all kinds of shit going <laughs> <on> over here. <laughs> I love that shit, man. I love that shit. I love that shit. Uh, man, let's uh let's keep it moving. And if you guys have any questions for the Godfather, please post them in the comment section, and we'll get to them. Uh, there's a few from last week that I would love to um get to that we just didn't right have a here. chance to get to. Uh, the first one, you and Kid Frost go back to the early 80s. Talk to us about Kid Frost. Man, Kid Frost and I go back yeah, to the early 80s. Uh, when our first gigs we did together was in Sacramento. And we had like a three or four day tour up the coast. We played Sacramento, we played Stockton, and we played something else. And um, 
he, he's, a, he's always been a cool buddy of mine. Uh, we're always good, glad to see each other whenever we see each other. He was once signed to Unknown. Unknown had a label called Celeb Records. And uh, he picked up Kid Frost for a minute, did some stuff with Kid Frost. Um, Kid Frost is crazy, man. He ain't no joke. He ain't no joke. <laughs> he, he, that's the real kid. The, the dude you see, that's the real Kid Frost. He ain't playing. Mm. Cholo, um, uh, with the cane and uh, the lowriders, the, they love Kid Frost. Uh, La Rasa, all that, all that. Mm -hmm. Kid Frost 100. Gemini. Yes, sir. Oh, damn. That's yeah. why you've been around so long. Yeah, we don't go nowhere. We just we just change our head, change uh, dates. Yes, sir. That's right. Do you know it's uh, easy? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was saying he 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 was having health issues for a while. He was. Yeah. He's, he, he's doing a lot better. He di he's diabetic. So, um, and he, he wanted me to help him write his book. We haven't got around to it yet, but I told him anytime he's ready to go, let's do it. I bet his stories are. Come on, man. man. I bet he has some stories, dude, because he was. The, the biggest at one point, you know, to this day, probably the biggest, had the biggest hit for a Latino artist. You know, that and maybe Mentidosa, you know, would be a, a, a very close first or second, arguably. But, um, um, yeah, I mean, uh, Melo Manes? Yeah, Melo Manes, Mentidosa, I right? And him, then, uh, he called me five minutes for the show opened up. <laughs> ah, what a crazy damn. What what we've we, we, we been texting back and forth all day. And uh, I told him he I, I told him I was doing my show on Thursday, but he thought he you know I had a show on Tuesday. So he just called me right before the show. Man, I need you to come on my show. Got to do my own show, Ace. But I got you covered though. That's dope, man. Yeah, he just started this podcast. Shout out to him. I've had him on my show a couple times. I actually went to Southgate. We rode around his hood and then did an interview in person. It was really cool, man. Shout out to Melo Man Ace. Yeah. Man, uh, a, a veteran, a pioneer, dude. They were they were doing things that. Man, no one was doing.